for me when it comes to the bottom is can I squat? Bam. <laughs> Welcome back for another vlog. By the title, you already know what this video is about. A ski trip that I had not too long ago. If you follow me on IG, you kind of already know what happened to this ski trip a little bit. But we're going to keep that right there. And I am going to make this a two-part series so we can get into the beginning of the trip and the foolery at the end. This video is very important because if you a brown skin girl and ever thinking about doing a ski trip, Honey, we need to talk about gear when it comes to us, especially if it's a curvy girl and we want stuff to fit. So come on in, let's have a seat and let's talk. All right, this is kind of going to be like a black girl's guide. So let's begin with a checklist of things you want to make sure you think about as far as keeping nice and warm. Okay, you want to think about what's going to protect your head, what's going to protect your neck hands your whole body and your feet when it comes to skiing don't even think about having anything on like this for this video is just decoration when it comes to the head maybe like a nice little scully when it comes to the face if you want to you can have a face mask because the winds can be a little bit strong or just having a nice little scarf that kind of goes up to kind of cover your mouth if you need to for your hands you want to think of ski gloves not regular gloves honey ski gloves you want them to be nice and warm the other option is mittens if you're the type of person that you know with wearing gloves that your hands get kind of cold meaning like individually that your fingers get cold think about mittens because at least your hands are together and they stay warmer better something to think about there are options for keeping your hands warm some people actually wear two layers of gloves meaning like a thin nice layer and then an actual ski glove on top of it there's also the option in some ski gloves where you can actually have like a little zipper and you can put your hand warmer inside of there and that can also play as another role of keeping your hands warm or just actually putting regular hand warmers inside your gloves when it comes to your body you want to think about layers 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 it is cold out there it can be 20 degrees and lower and depending on what you decide to do that wind could just be blowing as well too and baby you're gonna get real cold so first layer you want to think about is what they call your base layer it's kind of like wearing long johns um there are different types of these when it comes to skiing because skiing is like an activity or a sport and you will sweat so you either can have on like the athletic type long johns where they actually wick away sweat or the regular ones you may get a little bit more of that, that sweat that kind of stays onto you so just keep that in mind when you are researching your base layer but either way have a base layer some people also go into wearing what's called a mid layer which is kind of like a fleece type of material to wear on top of their base layer and then they wear their outer layer the mid layer is really up to you if you feel like you're going to need that layer or not but you could just really get away with just a base layer and a nice thick outer layer so when it comes to the outer layer you have options you have the full ski suit that you can wear there are also bibs which looks like more like an overall or you can have an actual outer jacket and then just for your legs you can just have just ski pants so it all depends on what you decide to do so those are layers 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 layer your base layer and your outer layer depending on what type of outer you want to wear for your feet keep them nice and cozy as well too you want to think about thermal socks wool socks very thick socks you want to wear eyewear you also want to look into getting ski goggles as well because you want to protect your eye for anything that's flying or flaring honey we need you to get back home with nice eyes now you do have the option of renting a lot of things there when it comes to like your ski suit and ski booze so that is an option but if you're a type of girl that's kind of like me that wants to make sure you have your own stuff you have that option too now if you decide to go ahead and rent a lot of these things because you can actually rent gloves you can actually rent jackets skis pants and stuff like that at least have your own base layer and all that other stuff you can actually rent if you decide to so if you don't want to spend the money just know you have the option of renting a lot of things just make sure you have your base layer. There ain't no way you should be going up there trying to rent some doggone thermals and socks. At least have that, for God's sake. 
So let's go shopping so y'all can see what's out there, what brands you want to look into that can be helpful, and let's go. If you're lucky enough to have like a lot of these winter stores that have ski gears like Columbia, North Face, a super dry near you, please go into those stores and try things on because that is the best way for you to actually know what's going to fit you right, what looks good on you, and what's going to keep you nice and warm. Everything that is here and here should have 60% off okay um if it ends with a point nine the first store that I checked out was North Face, and they were actually having a sale going on. I tried out different types of pants and bibs. What I noticed a lot about when trying a lot of these things on is that they don't have pants that actually fit more for like curves so you're either going to be between sizes where you'll find one size where the thigh will fit and then the waist is way too big which happens a lot when it comes to these ski pants but for some of the pants you can actually find that they have like adjustable weights where you actually can pull straps and make it a little bit tighter so here's north face and then here's what i tried on in there i tried on one of the ski bibs it fit actually pretty nicely but it just it just wasn't given and for the pants as well too it just didn't give me that vibe so whatever I tried it on and I know that for me this didn't work so the next store that I decided to hit up was super dry I actually stumbled on this store because I was just walking by and I noticed like a lot of like thick winter jackets so I actually went in and asked them do they have ski gears and the lady pointed me to the back and yes they did in super dry I picked up a jacket that I thought I would really really like and these pants that were totally different from what I tried in North Face the material was a little bit more on the elasticity side it felt more more malleable and movable anytime you go shopping keep in mind of wearing a base layer when you go so that you can actually make sure you pick the right size that fits with wearing a base layer I actually ended up doing that inside of super dry I picked out one of their base layers and then tried it onto the pants one other thing that I made sure I did when I tried on any pants was a drop test I wanted to make sure that when I drop, I'm not feeling like the pants is going to rip, that I don't have enough room to bend my knees or get down to the floor because, you know, skiing is something that was going to be new to me and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be falling a lot. Make sure you do a drop test, whatever you decide to wear when you try it on. All right. So let's get out of here and let's head over to Columbia. Now in Columbia, they have some pretty nice things. My only issue was, again, their pants. So for the jacket that I actually really loved, they didn't have the matching pants for it, but I wanted to give their pants a try to see how it fits. And um, the one thing I really do love about them is, is that they had the little adjustable waist, but it just wasn't given. And my drop test wasn't given either. But I do wanna talk about one of their jackets that I noticed that has like an actual mid layer already attached to it. So if you do want the option of having it on, you can have it on. If you wanna take it off, you can take it off. And I thought that was really cool about it. So all I really purchased was a couple of things from Super Dry. So we're gonna try a lot of things when we get back to the house. All right, y'all, so let's run through some of the things that I have purchased. Um, most of the stuff are gonna go back. Y'all saw when I was in Super Dry, so y'all saw some of the items that I got from there. And I also ordered some stuff offline from them as well too. So we'll go through this package here. I already opened most of everything, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try them on with you guys. And I ordered a couple of things from ASOS as well, a lot of their ski stuffs too. And I got me some snow boots, y'all. So let's go through all the items that I picked up. From Super Dry, I fell in love with this jacket. I wanted to have a jacket that I can wear multiple times and not just for the skiing activities or snowboarding activities. So I wanted to make sure that my jacket was nice and thick. I plan on wearing this jacket from the airport and all the activities that we have on that very first day in the cold and then the next day for skiing as well too. So I went with the puffer jacket with the hood. Um, it is water resistant and keeps you very warm. I'm not sure what it's called, but it has the portion for you to um, keep your thumb and your hands out when you wear your mittens and things like that, but still kind of keep the hand warm. This hoodie can come off from reviews. I've been hearing that like sometimes the hood gets in the way with skiing and stuff like that. So having the option of being able to take this off was kind of important as well too. So let's put it on. You have this portion in right here that keeps you extra warm. I think they call it like the belt garter or something like that. So at least all the air won't be flying up into you. So I'm pretty colored up here. Like I don't want to feel like an Eskimo while I'm there. I did not do well with cold weather. So I was just like, make sure my jacket is extra puffy. <laughs> 
Um, there's so many pockets on this thing. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? <laughs> but there's so many pockets on this thing. You have the side pockets. You have pockets um, also in the inside. There. There's the hoodie. There's a side zipper right there for a pocket. You know, put something in there. Um, nothing on this side though, but this of all things was the most expensive thing I would say that I have purchased, but I know I will be able to use it multiple times. Um, even if it wasn't a ski trip, if I went like, you know, on a winter trip somewhere else and it's very cold, I'll still be able to use it. So this was basically my biggest investment, okay? I did pick up the red pants. I don't think I'm going to keep them um, because I did purchase some other stuff online that came. On these pants, you can flare them out more just in case your um, ski shoes are like really wide. And unbuttons there and then you have the zipper. So if it needs to open up a little bit more, it opens up a little bit more. This is what the inside at the bottom looks like. So pull that out. That's what it looks like there. The inside of the pants has that kind of like fleece type of material to keep you warm. The material does feel a little thick. So, and that's that. These are waterproof as well too. I like this type of style when it comes to like the material because with me being a thick girl and I know I like to like be able to bend and squat, I feel like I won't be restricted with this type of material. So, so the online purchases from Super Dry, I got a bib. So it's just one full suit, like an overall, okay? Has pockets in the front. Out there and the bottom can be zipped so that if you have on the snow um, shoes again if it's too wide it can open up the only thing I don't like if that happens is that it doesn't have that extra um, material that the red pants have so that a lot of the air or like cold air can come in that's the only thing I don't like so far um, but other than that, I, hopefully I can stay warm anyway because I'm still going to have like on base layer clothing and socks and stuff like that. So the last thing from Super Dry was the base layers. Um, so I have the bottoms here. Here's the top layer. It was recommended not to wear like cotton type uh, materials because they stay wet when you sweat. So even though this is a base layer, it does feel like more on the thin side, but if you work out a lot, you know those material that can kind of like wick away like sweating and stuff like that. I guess this is probably what it's supposed to do so it doesn't just stay on your body with it, how it does with like cotton material. I'm going to try on these and then let y'all see. All right, so here is the base layer outfit on. Let me tilt y'all down so y'all can see a little better. I went with this because it was so much stylish. Even though you're not really going to be seeing it much while skiing, but I was just wanted to look cute under. <laughs> There's that. Feels pretty good. All right, so now I am going to try it on with the pants. Have those on there. Go ahead and zip that down. I'm not going to button that. Um, I like how it feels. It feels really good. Really, really good. So the only thing missing is that some of the ski pants will have like this extra um, strapping where you can pull it in. So if it feels too big on your waist, you can, you know, snug it in a little bit more. But this one doesn't have it. But that's okay. You can always use a belt. Thank God for the belt loops. And a test of all of my gears. Can I squat? And yes. Bam. 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 <laughs> I would hate to be falling off like my ski or the snowboard and I can't even like bend down as much. So that was a big factor for me, uh, being able to squat, move around, feel free when I do that. And this type of material is giving, okay? Moving on, this is the bib. This is the one I'm planning on wearing. When I purchased it online, I did not realize this whole little red and white <laughs> going on right here. To be matching with this but oh well it's just a little red bottle all right and it just zips up and that's that
That's the bib. The only thing I don't like though, big booty girls, anytime we wear like overalls and stuff like this, you have this big gap because of my large derriere. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like, but anyways, I'm skiing. Like, my jacket's gonna be on. We're really gonna be looking at me, okay? So, this is what I'm planning on wearing. And with the jacket, it will look something like this. And there it is. So, yeah. Um, sometimes you gotta sacrifice cuteness for feeling comfortable, and this is the situation for me. I'm so hot in this right now, but test time. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, that's it for super dry. Let's move on to ASOS products. I just realized I forgot to show y'all the boots, but here are the Uggs boots, honey. Super cute. Oh my God, like the fur. This fur material is like all the way inside the shoe. Like so cute. <sighs> Both shoes are on. Oh my God, I'm so warm right now. <laughs> so, so warm. All right, now we can move on to the stuff that I got from ASOS. First item from ASOS is their ski jacket. Um, it is on the lighter side compared to the super dry one, but it's a bit stylish as well too. So it has a hoodie, but it cannot come off. It has, you know, the same inside area here and it has a pocket on just two pockets. So more minimalist compared to the super dry. Um, it feels lighter but it is cuter like if you're going for style this is something just much cuter a little fitted i guess the hood part seems pretty small that was a struggle to get on but i need to get out of this thing Ooh. but anyways i do feel warm but i don't feel as if i would be very warm and cozy like i felt in that super dry jacket that's just me that's just me okay so I also bought some of these type of pants as well too. I don't remember the name of it. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, I love the shape of it. It's to give you that hourglass type shape. Um, it comes with the little belts across. So you can wear it kind of like an overall. The material is on that flexible side, like the super dry pants. Um, it's not like that stiffness kind of regular snow pants feel. So that's a good point. Okay, so for y'all thick girls, you know. Mm -mm. All right, so that's oh, actually, I kind of do like these pants now. You better stop it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jesus. I think your girl like these. Ooh, girl. But let's do the drop test first and see if that. I 
got a size six when I probably should have gotten a size eight. Wow, these fits really good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so, so far I would say ASOS pants are giving. Like if you're a curvy girl, I will definitely look into like the ASOS pants. Like they're really giving like, you know, that nice fit to the hip and the butt. Shout out to ASOS for that. Cause normally y'all clothes don't be appealing to For some reason, y'all feel like it's just European bodies out here with this straight look. But I'm going to give it to y'all for these pants, though. These these drop tests. Oh, no issue at all. I can make it a stallion. Ooh. Yes. They cost, though. That's the only problem. You see? You see? Stuff that really be looking really nice and fit you well be costing. That'd be the problem. So I have some options to choose from. The jacket for sure from Super Dry. Baby girl, I'm so hot in this. Uh -uh, let me take this off. Whew. Okay, y'all. Um, the bottom, I got some decisions to make. Here are all of the pants lined up. This is the bib version from Super Dry, the bell bottom pants from Super Dry. This is the straight leg pants from ASOS. They are the 4505, so you say ski and snow, so you know you have a ski and snow pants. And then you have this last pants from ASOS, which gives like an overall look. Um, hourglass as well, too, and the bell bottom at the bottom there. So those are my decisions, y'all. I'm going to have to make a decision. I really do feel like I'm in between this one and this one. Um, but yeah. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, hit me up down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll chat with you guys on the next one. Hit that notification so you know when the next video uploads, cause baby, <sighs> yeah. Part two, y'all gonna really know what really went down. All right, y'all, bye.